the Hollywood Brown Derby. We're gonna buy some hats. Are we? <laughs> yeah, wait. Yeah, where's that a restaurant? Isn't it a hat shop in California, the Hollywood Brown I've never Derby? Been in California, I wouldn't know. I have. I've never been to uh, the Brown Derby. I know Universal it's a hat store. represent the Brown Derby's a hat store, so I'm just using that that knowledge there. To base I'm just Spencer facting all over the place. Anyway, we're going to eat at the Brown Derby today at Hollywood Studios. Um, I'm excited. It's brand new. It's new-ish for me. I haven't been there in years. Yeah, but uh, for me, I'm I'm never that classy. I'm not a classy bird. I'm a I'm a very run-of-the-mill kind of guy. So we never ate at the nice places. You're a golden corral. Um, Whoa, I'm, I'm less Golden Corral, I'm more... Chilies. I'm more Chilies, yeah, there you go. I'm somewhere in between, <laughs> like, a Panera in a and, a, and a Golden Corral. Somewhere in between there, so... Uh, Alright, let's jump in, and we'll, uh, we'll give you our honest review of the Brown Derby. Yes. I'm excited. And I'm just hungry. And we timed that right, it's about to get loud behind us, so let's go. This sign in the garden makes a hidden Mickey with the bushes. I'm not sure if that's an unintentional hidden Mickey or an intentional one, but it's cool nonetheless. To that burning question, it is a real restaurant in Hollywood. The most glamorous restaurant during the heyday. It's where Ooh. if you were a big celebrity, that's where you would go to be seen. So it's not the place you and I would ever be seen at. No, that's why all the characters are on the wall. It's we all the celebrities <laughs> who've been at the Brown Derby before. We'd be seen at like the uh, the chilies on, or like no, like the. Oh, they don't have an ale house, do they? No, ale house in Florida, I think. It is something along those lines, though. Just in California. Yes. Everything looks pretty good so far. How you fellas doing today? Hey, nice doing good. How are you? Where are you fellas from? Winter Garden. Florida. They're also from Florida. But Florida. They're also from Florida. But they None anymore. We've actually moved into our new house in... I'm not telling you where we're from. You No. Mm -mm. That's not something... That's, that's not a game we're playing. They didn't see my movies <laughs> there in Florida. Did you see my last film, The Hotel? What was your last film? The Hotel. I believe so. Did you like it? <laughs> Loved it. Thank you. Everybody did. They said the hotel was the best western. Oh, that's what yeah. Said. That's, and did yeah. you like the fact it was a Christmas movie? Did you like that? I love it. They wanted to get that holiday in. <laughs> the first scene. Did you like the fact that there was two Christmas trees? That was the best. I, I knew was, you'd wait, like that double tree. There you I go. Like <laughs> in fact, we were days in to filming. We knew we had a hit on our hands, and then we got the budget in. We were so far over budget on the movie. I had to take the producer to Vegas. I wind him some money. We kept filming the thing, but we shot it wind in Super 8. Wind which is a, uh, Super 8, yeah. It's yep. a cheaper film format. Yep. But it's not widescreen. That's the thing. And we had this big sword fight scene planned. We had to cut it because suddenly we couldn't fit the Hilton. Can you imagine that? That's that was crazy. Yeah, it was. But don't worry, it's still a great That's movie. Still a great movie. <laughs> Especially for my, uh, my co star, Howard Johnson. He's, he's, yep. really, he's really one of the best. <laughs> and you know your friend, Mary? Mm -hmm. Marriott to see it too. Marriott to see it too, yeah. And if you should. like the Motel series of movies, technically the hotel is Motel 6. It's part of the series. Unless you go to Mexico, they skipped one of my movies there, and there the hotel is La Quinta. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not really sure what happened with that other film. But anyway, uh, I can share a ton about it, but I know you're about to order here shortly, so you fellas take care of yourself. Nice thank to you see so you. much. Nice to see you too. Much. Thank you. Gosh, you got a good looking oh God, over here. I nice love to see everybody. Where are you from? That was an unexpected Florida. surprise. No it's not like character this dining, but this is awesome. Um, yeah, I've never did they do that last time. You were here? No, this is new. Doing the Hollywood. I don't know if it's just him that does it or if they rotate differences yeah. with the Hollywood in because I don't come here often enough. Yeah, it's really but it was actually a nice touch. That's smart. I like it. He's got good jokes. I mean he's he's recycling them and he's using them at the other table. I mean he's he's recycling them and he's using them at the other table, but like you can talk. But they're passable, the jokes are It's like Jungle Cruise. <laughs> it's Jungle Cruise. It is. Anyway, where were we? Um, it's 
Spencer's got an expensive taste today, apparently, because what drink were you eyeing at? Um, the pomegranate whiskey sour. Yeah, and I was going to go for probably the Hollywood Manhattan. Mine is uh, $15.25, so Palm Ridge whiskey. Sorry, <laughs> I had a comma in there. Palm Ridge whiskey. Uh, sweet vermouth and the Luxardo cherries. Sorry, so you can't say any of those words. And, no, I just missed over it. It's the I can say it, it's the it's the anti from Capernino. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you heard it. What's yours got in it then? Smart. Mine's the pomegranate whiskey sour. Pomegranate. That's what it says. That's pretty much what it says on the tin. Anyway, uh, but he's also thinking the well, I know I'm thinking the black grouper and lobster uh, because I'm I'm on a bit of a fish kick just lately. So and you're on a you're on a real meat kick. Always are. It was the fillet. <laughs> something to me. What, what does that come in at? What's the. We don't need to talk about the price. Yeah, we do. It's 50 bucks. It's 49 dollars. Um, and mine comes in at a very reasonable 46. So, apparently, even though we're buying a house, we've found all this money. I don't know why Spencer's keeping it, but. <laughs> I can't reveal it. It's a secret. <laughs> All right, so even though we're not going to go for appetizers because we're really, you know, ringing up the bill on this side, um, they have a. Dessert. We are going to do a dessert, and we're going to. I'm just going to give you a quick run over. Run over. I'm going <laughs> to run you over. Gonna with run, the run you over with appetizers. Prepare yourself. They've got a beef carpaccio. Uh, what else have they got? They've got the blue lump crab, uh, crispy wonton. He said it's only one wonton, uh, so I imagine it's large. They've got a curried butternut squash soup, which sounds amazing, actually. Um, Disney does a really good, a lot of Disney restaurants have a butternut squash soup, but they're all really good. Yeah? It's probably the same one. And there's tuna and the salad as well. <laughs> Liquid gold. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it. Fantastic. That looks awesome. All right, we've got some things on the table. We've got some bread, we've got, we've got some the important butter. things on the table, let's be honest. What, the, the drinks the and booze. the... I thought you were talking about the... And I apologize for the focus, by the way, because it's dark in here. It takes a while to focus on his on his Chevy, Chevy Chase. So My Chevy Chase. Face, it's Cockney rhyming slang for face, dear. Anyway, uh, butter with Hawaiian sea salt, which looks awesome. I've had this in other places, and it always tastes amazing. Um, tray drink, then? I got a whiskey... Pomegranate whiskey sour. Pomegranate whiskey sour? Remember, be descriptive, boo. <laughs> What's really yummy? I knew you were gonna. That's all I was gonna say. Oh, it's good. No, what does it taste like? What are those flavors you're getting? It's got notes of this. And... Well, since I'm stuck married to you for the rest of my life, okay. whiskey has become an acquired taste for me. I enjoy whiskey. Yeah, because it's, it it's it's like anything. If you do it long enough, you'll enjoy it. Ooh. Go on. A little bit of a nice sweetness from the pomegranate as well, so it's not straight up whiskey. Yeah. What did I go for? The you Manhattan, the New York, Hollywood Manhattan. Manhattan. You got Two the cherries that you like. That's what I went for. I like whiskey and I like these cherries. Feels with like whiskey too. Whoa. That is strong and really good. It just tastes like straight up whiskey, which you can never go wrong with. Um, and it's got the cherries for a nice little dessert at the end. I've noticed that Disney's been... It's very smooth whiskey, by the way. Go Disney's on, what we been doing about? that lately at restaurants. They've been creating specialty drink items yeah. for each restaurant. But the drinks that are specific for the restaurant tend to be very alcohol-driven and not so much flavor-driven. They just want to give you straight up, like, alcohol. Yeah, so well, you've nice strong drinks. Let's be honest, you're paying enough for it. So, all right. So, okay, what else have we got? We've got the bread. Do you want to unwrap the bread? Mm -hmm. It's like an unboxing. Wow, 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 wow. Dinner rolls. Ooh, dinner oh, rolls. Nobody knows that we're like fatties because they're like five of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to butter these up and uh, let you know what we think. Okay. I made the mistake of pressing record with a mouthful of bread. What do you think? They're good. They're nice dinner rolls. They're very plain dinner rolls. They're nothing, oh, they're, they're 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 nothing crazy, but they're not terrible either. They're very... If they weren't, they, they warmed them up, obviously. If they weren't warm, it's just bread. But it is still nice. I will say the butter's cool. The Hawaiian sea salt. Um, they do that thing where it's like salty without being too salty. <laughs> I feel like such an idiot describing it that way, but I think... Would you I know say what you that's mean, like, like, It has like an extra salty flavor without being extra salt on it, it. When you look at it, so look at it, they're like big old grains of salt. But they don't taste... It doesn't taste overly salty when it's melted in, so... I'm impressed so far. So far, so good. But you don't come for the bread, and you can't really screw up alcohol, so... No, you can't. You can screw up, can you screw up alcohol? Mm -hmm. It's 
suppose if the box, the wine comes out of a box, it's uh, not great. No, you can make drinks too weak. <laughs> well, they've not done that. Yeah, we're good. Gold star so far. It's happened, the important stuff has arrived, and it looks I good. I thought we established the important stuff is already here. Well, wow, the, the next most important stuff. So there's Spencer's uh, filet. filet with, oh, you've got Brussels in I know, there. that's why I picked puree. it. It looks awesome. You've got the, the toy box chair peppers on there, toy box peppers. See, look at me being all cultured and knowing that. And then I've got my fishy surprise. This looks like spaghetti or something. It's. <laughs> I think it is a pasta, even though they look like lentils. Uh, it did say it was a some sort of a pasta on the uh, on the menu. So we're gonna dig in. It's got a. Oh, there, there's a lobster's tail. Uh, and we'll let you know what we think. I'm excited. Me too. It's like the third time I've said it. <laughs> I'm just hungry. Okay. So you're a couple of bites in. First thought. <laughs> It is so yummy! Is I it really? every time you ask me what something tastes like. What's the quality of your meat like? That's what everyone wants to know. It's really top quality. It's really. Uh, You've got the top, you know, top like, quality like, like, piece melt, of meat. Melt in your mouth, good. Melt in your mouth meat. Yep, I'm aware. The Brussels sprouts are really good too. Yeah? Mm. I love Brussels sprouts. And I know you said you're not sure what it is. Yeah, what does not, it taste I'm like? I'm gonna have you try it and you tell me. Okay. Oh, like, it's uh, butternut. Butternut squash? Yep. Uh, it's butternut squash, and it is actually really very good. So, I love some mushrooms in it, but I don't like mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom fan. It's a texture thing. Um, so, I'm a couple of bites in. Gotta say, the flavour profile... Ooh, that sounded good, didn't it? It almost sounded like we knew what we were talking about, the flavour profile. Um, it's not too in your face, it's very subtle, which is always what you want with some sort of seafood dishes. Uh, I've not tried the scallop yet, but I have tried the haddock and the lobster. It was scallop haddock. in there too? Yeah. It was haddock, right? Did no. it say haddock? Halibut? I don't remember. Whatever the fish was, I've tried it. It's a white fish. It was only a white fish and, and a lobster, it's not a scallop. So. No, it was. That's a scallop, 100% look. That is a scallop, and it said it on the menu. See? I learned something so, new. You did. So there's three, three fishy parts to it, and I've tried two. The lobster was amazing. So I'm just gonna jump straight in there. That is juicy and thick. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but no, it was really, really, really good. It was, yeah, very impressive. If I could eat like just a ton of that lobster, I would. Uh, but that would be more than 40, or what was it? $46 for the plate. So uh, impressed so far. Like I said, the whitefish was kind of subtle, uh, but it goes well. It, it complements the, the light sauce. Um, yeah, so I'll get back to you guys when I've got I have deep into comments that below about how much of a food snob you sound with your vocabulary that you're using. No, see, it sounds like I'm trying, and that's because I am. <laughs> I'm just trying to give everyone a detailed review. So, look at you not eating your. What are these? Arugula. No, that's arugula. What are the red things? Tomatoes. Toy, toy box. They're not the toy box peppers. And they're really good. I'm gonna. Look. They're super sweet. Try one. Go on, be brave. I'm trying something new. You'll actually really... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, the struggle is real with you, isn't it? Here we go. Choo-choo. Oh, they're not bad. Yeah, they're really sweet. I'm gonna eat the rest of them. Tiny little peppers, see? Try something new every day. Okay, so we are all done with our entrees and we're about to stop picking out our desserts. So we're gonna give you a full rundown at the end of what we thought. Uh, but, spoiler alert, it's looking pretty good so far. There are a few things though that I'm going to put out there that could be improved, but overall it was pretty good. Uh, what do you think we dumb. deserve? What was that? I bet you have dumb complaints. No, it, it's a very legitimate, it's not a complaint, it's, it's a talking point. But what do you think in dessert wise, Boo? Well, we're going to do the, they have a sampler that we're going to pick three and we're going to share them yeah, together. Yeah, what three are you thinking? I think I've already surprised. been told Spencer gets to pick two and I get to pick one. So what can you pick from? What have they got, Boo? Well, there's a, um, a mini grapefruit cake, which is what they're famous for. And a blueberry cobbler, banana toffee cake, a cappuccino brulee, a lemon cheese cake, <laughs> and a jerk chocolate from Mo. <laughs> from Mo. He just took a run up at that. I can't say anything. I can't pronounce some stuff earlier. So I know which ones I like the sound of. Which ones are you thinking? Out of respect, I won't go for the cheesecake. I want to leave it a mystery. Well, I won't wait for it to arrive. Yeah. Wait for it. You gotta okay. keep people waiting on the edge of their seat. What if you're gonna put like an ad in right here? Like, you, people need to have to sit through it. There needs to be a reason why. <laughs> they have to know what we got for dessert. 
I'm not inserting an ad right there. It's not about the ads, it's about the content. But thank you for watching that, I do appreciate it. Alright, so here's a quick overview of what they've got, if you want to take a look. We know what we're going to get, by the way, so... There's an awful lot of, like, cognacs and whiskies, which get me very excited. Uh, and he did recommend this, which I will be getting for myself. The Millionaire's Cappuccino, which has Bailey's Irish Green and Grand Marinara in it. How can you say no to that? That is truly amazing. <laughs> I just said Grand Marinara. <laughs> like the sauce. <laughs> Oh, he's excited. Oh, I thought you a picture. <laughs> now, why would you want to keep a frame of that forever? That was just scary looking. Do you know what isn't scary looking, Spencer? These desserts. What have we got? What are you going to do with that dessert? Okay. This is the coffee creme brulee. I'm introducing this one because it's the only one I know, and Spencer can take the rest. This is the blueberry cobbler. Blueberry cobbler. And a grapefruit cake. This is what they're famous for, apparently. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have all of it first to make sure there's no cream cheese in it though. Okay, let's do that. Do you want to see a, a live tasting of the grapefruit cake? So. Oh, I think that's cream cheese. So before we ordered these, I remember saying, the grapefruit cake doesn't sound good at all. And Spencer goes, oh no, it's not the famous for. Try the grapefruit cake, Spencer. No, I'm scared now that there's cream cheese in it. There's no cream cheese in it. You're lying to me. I don't trust you. It's got something in it that tastes nasty, but it's not cream cheese. <laughs> I, I don't think. Let me try it. Let me try it again. I think it might be cream cheese. It's gross, and you picked it. You're eating it. I'm not having any of it. Eat it. No. I tried the blue. I called it for everybody. Oh, that yogurt? Is that not what you wanted? No, oh, that was yogurt. That was gross. Yeah, the two he picked, by the way. The two he picked. Winner. Absolute brilliant. Why are you a horrible human being? You know what you don't like and you still get it. <laughs> I never had blueberry color with that spiciness on it. Now try it without that. Here, I'll get this off. That was horrible. Wait that. Here. Now try it. What is that? Yogurt. There was yogurt? Yogurt. Yeah, I'm sweet. I eat yogurt. It's an unsweet yogurt. Try it. Go from that side. Oh, it's yummy. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love blueberries. All right, I'm going to try the uh, cream brulee. Oh, it's not. Wow. I wasn't pointing the camera at it, I was too preoccupied. It's already just like a liquid, it's not got a hard shell on it. Which I'm not sure makes it cream brulee. It tastes more like, for anyone that's from England that's watching, it tastes like Angel Delight. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god, that's the best one. And Oliver picks it. Oliver always picks the best one. So, mm. alright, let's give my millionaire's coffee a go. It's got, uh, what was it, Bailey's? Something else in it that you always talk about. Grand Manier. That's it. Whoa. Woo! Run your car on that. That's really good. That is yummy and very strong. You can taste the Baileys coming through there. So I'd say what Oliver picked was a great choice, and what Spencer picked was well, the blueberry one's good. What did you get by there? <laughs> the cream cheese. My favorite. No. Why not? You said there's cream cheese in it. I don't know what it is. It's just I don't want it. You do this thing where you say something really horrible and then you go try it and I'm like, no, and it's you're funny. Like, you don't understand why I don't want to try it. People at work say that to me as well. <laughs> like I'll smell something and be like, this smells gross. Smell it. <laughs> try it. You no. picked it. You wrecked it. You picked it. You know what is really good though? The grapefruit martini. Mm -hmm. That's what I recommend you getting instead of the mm -hmm. tea. Alright, well I'm going to force myself. See how he's positioned the plate? See this? The one I picked, which is going to come back to me. Yeah. Alright, we'll get back, back to you for an overall uh, experience shortly when Spencer's tried the terrible... I'm not trying the cake. It's cheesecake. It's not cheesecake. It's just cream cake. cheese. I don't like cream cheese. Maybe you should have read the menu, boo. It didn't say anything about cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Wow. We, we were trying to look for somewhere that was quiet, but the Star Wars is still Star Warsing in the background. It's being loud and in your face. It is. And the sun's behind us, so you're just gonna have to just deal, deal with it. Just deal with it. Uh, 
but no. What did you think overall? Oh, I loved it. I want to go back. Yeah? yeah. What do you think of the decor? I loved the decor. I loved the little booth that we were sitting in. I loved the... Very comfortable. It fit the theme and it fits where it is in the park 100%. I felt away from the park as well. Yes, it's very... It, it kind of pulls you out of the theme park, which is nice. You can't hear what's going on outside. You heard like the rumble when the Star Wars stuff went by, yeah, but, but other than really. that, you didn't feel like you were sitting in the yeah. theme park. I think what they wear, the servers, is very good. I like the black and white, like the penguin suit kind of thing. Very it's really fancy. Very, very smart. Uh, so it looks great. Um, I like all the paintings and the doggies on the walls. Yes, that's cool. They do like the caricatures of people that have ate there before, which is something I'm assuming they did at the original Hollywood Brown Derby. I think they took so, people who ate at the original Brown Derby and put them on these walls. So yeah. think, I'm not sure because I've never been there, but I'm pretty sure they kind of did replica of it, so I think that's pretty much what it looks like at Hollywood. Yes. Same so, thing, so yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, food wise, so we went for the two most expensive things on the menu because we're ballers apparently. Um, I can talk, talking for myself, uh, I, I thought it was very good. I went for the, the lobster, uh, it was like a seafood melody, so it was a white fish, a lobster, and it had a um, scallop in there. Uh, the lobster itself was amazing, it was the tail of the lobster, and it was very thick. And it was, I didn't request it to be. Um, cracked and served ready by the kitchen but they do do that for you it's ready it's served open ready to eat uh, which is great because no one wants to be you know messing around with cracking lobster uh, but it was a very thick piece of lobster in the tail um, oh, we're gonna have to speed it up the battery's running out Ooh. Um, and the, the fish was very subtle and it kind of went very well with the, the tomato sauce um, but again oh, and the scallop the scallop was the scallop was something to write home about normally even when you get good scallops there's an element of like um, chewiness some rubberiness to them. Not at all with this. Oh, you got a really good scallop. Oh, it was amazing. Honestly, if I could have just had a plate of those scallops, I would have been a happy boy. I really would. That was absolutely out of this world. Do we want um, to place the battery? Or? I think, what, have you got a lot to say, Boo? I do have so much. We have dessert to talk about, too. We do. All right, I will replace the battery, but before I go, I will say that I was very, very impressed with uh, my food. It was incredibly tasty, very well balanced, and my only complaint which isn't a complaint, it's just constructive criticism, uh, is it wasn't served really, really, really hot. It was warm when I started, and I'm a fast eater, I inhale everything, and by the time I was finished my last few bites, it was on the cooler side. Uh, some might say cold, I so think, that's my only, my only... I think it had to do with the plate, though, because your plate was very wide and thin, so it spread everything out. Maybe yes. it was in a smaller bowl and kept it more... Possibly. Yeah, they stayed warmer a little longer. Anyway, we're going to hear what Spencer's got to say about his food and dessert, but before we do that, I'm going to change the battery, so... Look at that. It's like magic. It's like nothing happens. It's always... It's like, yeah, it is. It's like nothing happened. Anyway, what did you eat? How much was it? I a of 50 per dollar. We'll go over the prices at the end. I can remember everything. I made a <laughs> mental note, but uh, what did you think? It was really good. The beef was amazing. Nice and tender. How like, how you want your filet to go? Medium rare. Okay, did, was it medium rare? I think it came out a little closer to medium, but I was okay with that. I did I was, that on purpose. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, don't mean to go. Go. I was going to say that because I looked over because I'm a, I'm a big meat snob. Shocker. Um, <laughs> and it definitely was not medium at all, uh, which is it always a medium. disappointment for me. No, no, it wasn't. It, was, it was close to like medium well. Yeah, so it was really but good. But you enjoyed it still. So. It was a smaller piece. It's only seven ounces, so it's fat. It cooked fairly quickly too. Yeah, so. that's not an excuse though. If you order it. <laughs> It was still really good. I order it rare. I always order it rare, but that's, that's just me. Disgusting. You're ruining the meat. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Everyone's personal preference. But you um, enjoyed it? I did. I wish there was more of a potato element to it. Um, the butternut squash puree was good, but it wasn't very filling. See, I think flavor, because I tried it, was the one thing you let me try on your plate, and it was very yummy. It was tasty. I'm not saying it was bad. So, I'm just saying it wasn't very... It was very light, so it didn't have a nice... Like meat and potato feel to it. Yeah, it, you're already saying you the potatoes would have been a better choice overall. But I still think it was a nice. It tasted. It good. was amazing. Everything was so, good. It. Yeah. Mm, good. I'm glad you enjoyed okay, it. And desserts. What you gonna do with dessert. that dessert? You kind of heard our dessert in there, so we'll just give you a quick <laughs> recap on dessert. But we went for the trio. Um, I was allowed to pick one thing. Uh, oh no, sorry. Well, I had input on one thing. And I picked two, but I only like one. Which one did you like? The blueberry cobbler. After the gross oh, the yogurt blueberry thing cobbler. Okay. So Spencer doesn't like cream cheese and he doesn't like yogurt. Yogurt. I didn't even mean to say that then. Yogurt. Oh, oh I need I hate myself. I need to go back to England though. Yogurt. Oh. Oh, that was awful. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> 
the trio. Ugh. I feel like an extra, like, outside body crisis. <laughs> the only thing I'm thinking about is that clip from Kim Kardashian is like, I have to pretend everything's fine, but you're not. <laughs> Should, do you want me to edit it? Yes, please put that in right there when you did All that. Alright, I'll do it. Um, so yeah, the, the, we what were the three the we got? We got the creme brulee, which wasn't a creme brulee because it didn't have the hard top on it. It's a little boy but it was like yummy. George. Um, I got distracted, sorry. And the other two were the world famous... Oh, uh, the grapefruit cake. Mm-hmm. And? The creme brulee. No, I've already said that. Oh. The cobbler. The cobbler. I always said about the cobbler. Blueberry cobbler. Anyway, I'll give you my rundown. So I have the three. Uh, the creme brulee was by far the best, and that was all of his choice. I wish we got three of those. We should have got three of those, because the little coffee bean on top is the coffee bean's chocolate. And it, it tastes like... tell me like, that it didn't share. Well, I wasn't going to share. It was coffee bean size. Um, but it tastes more like uh, Angel Delight, or like a really good... Because you guys call that stuff like pudding. pudding. Yeah. It tastes like a really good pudding, but it was uh, very, very, very yummy. It was much better quality than Angel Delight or pudding. Um, it was just, yeah, it was awesome. The other two, mm, Spencer liked the... I like blueberries, right. and it was just blueberries. And it wasn't awful, but that's what it was. It was just blueberries. When, once he got past the... <laughs> the gross yogurt. The, the yogurt. The, the crust was nice. It's kind of like crumbly and sweet. There wasn't a lot of it. I thought it was... When it says a cobbler, I was expecting... It's almost like a deconstructed cobbler. Yeah. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be when it said cobbler. By far the biggest disappointment for me... I didn't eat Spencer any Spencer won't it. tell you because it contained cream cheese. Um, was the... Uh, the, uh, what was it called? The grapefruit, grapefruit the grapefruit cake. cake. And here's why. Even though it's a cake and it should be sweet, it didn't taste sweet. It tasted just like the bitterness of grapefruit. Now, we were told, and so, they do do it, I think they still do, like, the big, like, you can order it as, like, a big slice of it. Apparently that's different. That's supposed to be better. Yeah. So, there you go. Small risk, one for risk it and roll the dice on it if you want, but personally, I wouldn't. I'd stick with the stuff that you know is good. I also had the Millionaire, um coffee at the end which was incredibly strong and very very good indeed there's not so much you can say about coffee the coffee was tasty and everyone knows what Bailey's taste like so that was um, really good yeah overall I would give it like a four and a half stars out of five what would you on the Jason scale what would you give it though a seven on the Jason scale yeah there you go that's something for those of you that watch yeah they're good place a good place so yeah pretty good so quick rundown before we go of the prices the uh my dish was the fish, the fish trio. That's not what it was called, but that was forty-six dollars. Your steak was, was fifty. So all in all, if you're a party of two and you get drinks, dessert, and entrees, or well, how much you an appetizer, I give a roundabout. I give the exact one. My drink was fifteen dollars and change. The other one was twelve fifty. My other drink was twelve and change. All in all, it cost us about two hundred dollars with tip. And the trio was eleven. So yeah, it was about that with with tip. So, so. it's an expensive restaurant. So don't. It's not. Uh, it's not a quick service or an yeah. easy family style. It is, you're going there, you're going to have a dining experience, but you're going to pay for it as well. Yes. So. Right, I think that just about covers it for this review. We hope you enjoyed it. Going straight off of the $200 into oh. the thank you for supporting us on Patreon. And if you would like to support us and help us carry on doing also, this. Can I say one more thing? Why not? Just one thing to also keep in mind is the level of service that you get because it was signature. Your time that you're going to be there is longer than if you eat at like a prime time or it's yeah. going to be quicker than if you eat at character dining because they all have different hit like times that they have. Yeah. So oh, that was the other thing as well before we go. Sorry, go on. You can ex expect to spend about an hour and a half to two hours regardless of your party size at the restaurant. So if you're making plans for the park later on, just make sure you have time it out that way. Yes. The character that visited our table, he disappeared pretty much as soon as the restaurant got busy. So I think that was more of a magical moment for us. Do not go in with that expectation at all because I don't think it's something they do regularly. If it happens, it happens. The, it table, happens. the first tables that were yeah, set. Yeah, I only seen Liam go to like four tables and we were lucky enough to be one of those. So um, yeah, I, I think that just about comes it. So, like I was saying before, thank you for watching. Server was um, awesome. Server was awesome as well. What was his name? Sammy. Sammy with an I. Pretty cool. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. We do make new videos every week. We've actually spent our day in Hollywood Studios and if you want to see our full day, that was last week's video. At the end of this one, there's going to be a link that you can click on. Uh, to do that. We if got, you want to support us, come ride. we did. You get to see some of that, so it was a lot of fun. Um, if you do want to support us, you can do through Patreon. In all seriousness, what we did today is not something that Patreon pays for. Um, this is something we did pay for out of our own pocket. What Patreon pays for is stuff like annual passes, which allows us to come into the park. And we would honestly, from
from the bottom of our hearts we wouldn't be able to do it without you so thank you to everyone that does uh, contribute uh, from you know as small as a dollar to as much as I think some people do like $30 which absolutely blows my mind so thank you so much for that we really really do appreciate it uh, and yeah there's links to that if you would like to support it but don't ever feel like you have to it's never ever expected but we do appreciate it when you do um, yeah, we are getting better at putting content on there. Yeah, this year we realized we need to put content on there. We never promised it in the past, and we're, we're not promising it now, because I don't know how much I can keep up with it, uh, but we are getting more proactive about doing it. So I think I've already got an idea of what I want to put up from today's vlogs uh, over there now. So there will be something extra, hopefully, on there for you. So, yes, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you all next week. And now we Take have an away, outro Jay. with JL that Tom produced that's going to go all over the Patreon stuff again. I promise we're not trying to push it down your neck. See you next week, guys. Bye. Aww. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from us in the future, please click the thumbs up. Commenting also helps the video. So even if it's just a, you guys are weird, we'll still be grateful. Please click subscribe to follow the channel. And if you'd like to be notified of all new videos, you'll need to click on the little bell. Otherwise, you'll only be notified of a few, and you'll probably be missing the best ones. If you want to follow any of us on social media, you can find links to do so underneath any of the videos that we appear in. And finally, if you really want to go the extra mile, you can support us through Patreon. We are hugely grateful to anyone who chooses to do so, but please know that the vast majority of our content will remain free to view for as long as we're doing this. And we are genuinely grateful for support in all forms. So please continue to like, comment, and share. And a huge heartfelt thank you from all of us.